What is the best EDC that you can put together at Walmart? That's a question I haven't tried to answer in a very long time, probably three to four years. And I imagine a lot of stuff has changed at Walmart. So we went to Walmart earlier today and picked out the best gear we could find for all different parts of our carry. This is what we found. So we're gonna go through each thing here individually, but I just wanna get it all out of the bag and show you kind of what we're working with. Um, we also picked up something I don't normally get when I do one of these because I think my carry has changed enough for me to start including a bag of some sort, like a little waist pack or sling. We got pen, wallet, flashlight, knife, multi-tool, a utility knife, a little key clip, and this is what we got. And all of this together came up just short of $250. Let's start with the one thing from Walmart that has not improved in the least. This is one of the only options I found for a wallet at Walmart. There were a few different, some chain wallets and a few other things, but for the most part, you're dealing with a $7 leather card case, which I think this is the exact same wallet I got last time or something similar from the same brand, George, which is maybe an in-house brand for Walmart. I don't know. This thing will suffice. It's not fancy. It's not sexy. This will work just as well as any other wallet, but you're probably going to end up having to replace it sooner rather than later. This is a $7 leather card case from Walmart. You gotta set your expectations. Next, uh, we're just gonna go with pins because that that's kind of the same case, except for these are classics. This is the G301, not the F301, and that just means that this is a gel refill instead of just the standard refill. They're classics. The F301 is something I used all through high school and in my short stint at college. It's just a really, really good pen. You can get a four pack. I think this was 4 98 four pins, about a dollar a pin, dollar 25 a pin. There you go. And this is not the same key clip I got at Walmart last time. I got some sort of HK clip, but I did get one of these at probably Bass Pro, maybe Academy. It's just a G series from Nighties. It's a carabiner that locks and it separates your keys from the gate where you're using it to remove from your belt loop or whatever. Okay, so on this thing, you would just slide your keys down here. When you open this up to slide it on and off of your belt loop, you're not gonna lose your keys because they're locked in this gate that you have to open separately. So pretty simple concept, but very effective at $5. And this also locks if you want to make sure that this is not gonna come off as well. Five bucks, hard to complain about that. All right, now we're gonna get into things that I think Walmart has improved on in the last three to four years. And let's start with this because I know that this was not a product three to four years ago. And I think I have to assume that the EDC world has caused this change in Walmart's inventory. And that is a very small pocket friendly utility knife. This is, I guess like a very, very budget friendly TPT slide. And I think it just makes sense to cut this open with a TPT slide, right? Okay, so there's two of them. I don't need to cut them both out. While we're at it, compare the size of the TPT slide to this Hart multi, what are they calling it? Four in one utility knife two pack, which for the record was 888 for two of these. And you're getting effectively the same functionality out of this as you are a TPT slide. You can tell that they've definitely been inspired by the TPT slide by, look at the jaws here. So these are in, in reverse, right? The blades are facing in opposite directions, but they have a little raised area there to use this as a bottle opener. You have a hex driver back here. Um, very, very, very similar in function, style, kind of similar in size. This one's longer, bulkier but it's also very heavy compared to the TPT slide. But I mean, it's gonna serve the same purpose and for a much, much, much smaller price tag. So if you have been looking for something similar to this, don't wanna spend the coin, you could go with this Hart 4-in-1 Utility Knife 2-pack for nine bucks effectively. I think that just goes to show that shopping for EDC gear at Walmart has changed significantly since that last video I made. Uh, and this next item is just further proof of that because I've not heard of this brand, but this looks like a pretty decent Olight or Phoenix alternative. This is the Kodiak lighting mm, cub, the cub, I guess, 500 lumen USB or magnetic recharging rather flashlight with a turbo mode of a thousand lumens. I mean, maybe, maybe, but it's 20 bucks. And I don't know what this is gonna be like for $20. So let's 
get it out and just see. So we're already going to be dealing with a slightly different UI. Um, I will say that I personally wouldn't buy this for myself for one reason. A lot of people complain about Olight having this proprietary charging cable, but it's pretty easy to buy another if you lose yours. And I have them everywhere because Olight has been sending me lights for ages. So I don't necessarily consider it a, a difficult thing to replace that charging cable from Olight, from Heart, or not Heart, Kodiak. I'd, I'm not 100% sure how easy this cable would be to replace if it were to break. Beyond that, maybe you can just put the kind of the size of battery that it has in here, uh, like, like buy one separately if, if you can't find the charger, which is a 16340. So, I mean, it wouldn't be hard to keep this thing running if the magnetic recharging stopped working, I imagine, because the battery doesn't seem to be proprietary, especially if you're not charging it using that. It feels and looks very much like a Phoenix light. And what are we dealing with? Okay, wow, that is very cool white. So click it's really strange. Why is it? I don't get it. This seems like a decent enough flashlight. It'll get the job done. The clip is reversed so you can put this on the brim of your hat. They get so many things right on these flashlights, but what they always get wrong is the UI. The UI just seems completely backwards and weird. So what I mean by this one is it starts in bright and you click and it gets dimmer as you go. Every other flashlight that I use, Phoenix, Olight, anybody. The flashlight defaults usually to the low mode or it has memory. This thing just seems to default to high. When it comes down to it, this is a $20 flashlight and for $20, this seems pretty good. It feels like a Phoenix, maybe a little bit cheaper feeling. Uh, maybe like it feels more like a Coast, which I did buy a Coast just to show that there is an option. If you don't want something that's like a one inch diameter, they do have a AAA sized flashlight from Coast. This is just a pretty standard flashlight from Coast you can find in a lot of different places. But the last time I did this, I don't even think this flashlight was available at my Walmart. They definitely didn't have this one. So flashlights in terms of EDC lights has changed significantly and for the better. Point is, decent flashlight from Walmart. I'm pretty impressed. Let's talk about the watch. I know that in the last video, I bought a G-Shock. And I think I spent about $100 on that G-Shock. This time, I just went with this one. There were several G-Shocks to choose from. I went with this one. And the real reason I went with this version of the G-Shock is... What do you got on the wrist, Ricky? Can you put it under, yeah. under this top down? It's, it's the same watch. It's the exact same watch, except this is the John Mayer version of this G-Shock. So this is just a standard version of it. And this is Ricky's John Mayer version. I'm not a G-Shock fan but this is probably the best watch you can get at Walmart. But that's a pretty good looking G-Shock G that you can get for 60 bucks at Walmart. And there are other options if this isn't quite your style, but I think it was cool to kind of show that this is the same G-Shock that he's wearing that is the John Mayer version, which should tell you that this is a pretty decent G-Shock. John Mayer is a huge watch fanatic, so you get his stamp of approval on a G-Shock that you can get at Walmart. I guess that's really all I have to say, 64 bucks. Really good looking watch. All right, multi-tools. Last time I went, there were one, no Ozark Trail multi-tools. Walmart has their own multi-tool, which is kind of a knockoff of the Leatherman Wave. They didn't even have those the last time I did this video. This was trying to find the best EDC at Walmart, and they had this, the center drive, and this is a phenomenal multi-tool from Gerber. If you haven't had one or don't know much about it, uh, it's great, honestly. And the way this works is you have a little button there, and this, this rail system, push the button and the pliers slide out. I have a multi-tool like this in my truck. It's a pretty good multi-tool for what it is. The tools that come on it, you have a few inside here. So you have a saw that is a bottle opener and a nail puller, a reamer or an awl. And then there's a file right here. On the other side, you have a bit holder that'll hold a quarter inch bit that goes in that center drive. So you have a Phillips and a flathead. And that's all this does is just hold that bit and then you have a straight edge blade. Obviously you have pliers, you have needle nose, some wider grip pliers, and then some wire snips there as well. So these lock and to unlock, you push this down and then they will fold in. But that's it, really good multi-tool. This was a hundred bucks, right? It's like 99, $96 for the Gerber center drive, which for that, I mean, you're paying Leatherman prices, but you can find this at Walmart. Can't find a Leatherman at Walmart. Next item. I think it fits. It's okay to put a full size because I've been carrying the bum bag 
off and on for a long time and inside there I have a full-size Leatherman. I carry the Leatherman Free P2. This will hold a multi-tool. I would rather have one in here than in my pocket. We did see this. We were just looking to see if there were any kind of waste packs or slings that you can get at Walmart. You can. It's this 3.5 liter waste pack from Ozark Trail. Well, to be honest, I've had a lot of Ozark Trail bags over the years. They're not great, they don't hold up, but you're also not paying a whole lot for them. This was seven bucks. You have a zip, patch, zip pocket on the outside and then a main zip pocket. No organization or anything, it's just two big pockets and that's it. And you do have just a little bit of lashing on the outside that you could clip something to if you needed to. And then you have an expandable strap, which is held together right now with some Velcro, or not Velcro, but elastic. And let's see what this would look like as a sling. I'm sure it's fine. There you go. Uh, slings around, fits about like the, the bum bag from Carry Commission or Blue Ridge Overland gear. And you can just throw additional things in here and not have to stuff your pockets so full. Um, I've become a big fan of it. Ricky almost always has a sling on and uh, you can get this from Walmart for seven bucks. That's not bad. It's not the best one in the world. It's probably not gonna last forever, but if it lasts you for even a year, that's not bad for seven bucks. All right, so the knife selection at Walmart is greatly improved. Um, it was a little bit nerve wracking when we first got there because the knife case was completely empty. I was very surprised to see that they carry buck now. That's totally new for my Walmart. Uh, maybe yours does. I know they all carry something a little different. And I decided to go with this, this 263 Highline, instead of the buck 110. I already have a buck 110. It's not really my favorite. It's not something I'm actually gonna carry because it's very bulky for what it is. Um, and then they had some Kershaw's, some Gerber's. And I just feel like if I'm going to go with a more budget friendly knife option, I would trust the heat treat on buck more than Kershaw or Gerber. And I don't know what blade steel this has, but let's just get into this and see what we're dealing with. So we got D2 blade steel, which I don't hate. I've mentioned it in the past. I like it. It's just, I tend to rust D2 very easily, but we have a big old sheep's foot blade. We've got that like meat hook hole at the end. I don't know what you would call that. A little fuller coming off of it. And then you've got a deep carry clip, a very deep carry clip. Let's see what that action's like, because the last time I did one of these, the knife was like the worst thing in the video. That's nice. This, I mean, it doesn't look like a whippersnapper, but it, it's just giving me some Olamic whippersnapper vibes. I like that bronze backspacer, the bronze hardware. This is pretty cool. I mean, I'm not typically one to like something like this, this blade shape, but for what you can get at Walmart, this is definitely the best one they had there for EDC. It's very snappy. It's no blade play. It's not super sharp but having that completely straight edge, it'll be really easy to sharpen it. I'm actually thoroughly impressed and definitely glad I went with this over any of the Kershaws or Gerbers. Cause they're either gonna have, you know, 8CR13 MOV, 8CR14 MOV or D2 as well. I've never in my life had a Kershaw or a Gerber sound like that or a CRKT have that kind of snappiness. That, that's impressive. Um, and I will say, I, I should clarify, I've not had a Kershaw or a Gerber or a CRKT that wasn't assisted that had that kind of snap to it. That's a lot of snap. That's cool. It looks good. You got a little G10 inlay here. Feels good in the hand. You got a choil. I am pleasantly surprised with that knife. And I'm honestly pleasantly surprised with every single thing I got here from Walmart. Like all of this is pretty good. The worst being the wallet for sure. This buck knife is really sick for 40 bucks. Gerber options as multi-tools in Walmart, that's a huge improvement. And it's really cool to see the impact that EDC has had on <laughs> inventory at Walmart. Like this thing right here is definitely heavily influenced by the TPT slide and you can get a two pack for eight bucks. This is awesome and this flashlight very much influenced by Olight. So uh, really solid stuff. The one thing that sucks is the wallet. Like. Let's just be real. I'm giving this stuff away. I'm not giving you that wallet. I mean, I'll send it if you can use it if you want. I have a store. We have really cool wallets. So I'm going to throw in one of my OpenSea carry commission wallets with this giveaway as well. But to enter to win this stuff, I've been doing live streams recently. And in the next live stream, I'm going to give this stuff away. I know that's kind of a buzzkill, but I want you guys to come watch and hang out in the live stream. I'm gonna give it away while I'm live. So the way this is gonna work 
is you just comment down below on this video and tell me what your best find is like EDC gear wise at a local store, be it like Bass Pro, Walmart. Tell me about your experience like that. A really cool EDC find at a random store in the comments down below. And I'll choose one of those on that live stream. So if you wanna see the winner drawn in real time, it'll be on the very next live after this video goes live. You know what I'm saying. This has been a lot of fun and I'm, it's actually a really good entry or re-entry into doing these like IRL EDC shopping videos. Um, let me know also where you want to see me do this next, but that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video and until then, carry on. really cool and great entry back into this kind of real world EDC shopping. So I'm, 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 <laughs> 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 so I'm <the> <laughs>